Hey guys, welcome to another video here on the Aviation Pro channel. Today we're going to take a look how to start up the Ember Air 135-145 from Cold and Dark. I'm using the Rilco Field Air Ember Air uh, version 2 for this video. So uh, let's go over to the cockpit and start them up. So guys, welcome to the cockpit of this Ember Air 135. We're going to start them up now. And of course we have to go to the overhead panel. So first of all, uh, I want to say that Ember Air has a dark cockpit philosophy, so that means it's better to have all light, lights uh, extinguished instead of illuminated. Okay, first of all we want to have some electrical power, and it's very simple, we'll just turn those two battery switches on. Power unit, okay. And you will hear the oral warning, uh, power unit, okay, you can ignore that. Caution, and we'll go back to the overhead panel again. Okay, right now we have uh, the batteries running the uh, electrical power on the aircraft, but of course we want uh, we don't want to discharge the batteries. So we're going to turn on the APU. To do that, we first turn on the uh, second fuel tank pump. We're going to turn on the nav lights so the uh, ground crew knows that we are uh, powering the aircraft. And we're going to go over to the APU control panel. And we're going to move the switch to the start position. Okay, in the meantime, uh, watch the ICAS display, and you can see here the APU is uh, turning uh, on now. And we just wait until it goes green, and there it is. The APU is now 100%. Uh, lots of temperature, uh, lots of heat coming out, and that means that uh, the APU is now ready to use. So the APU is now uh, taking over the electrical system automatically. Uh, we're gonna turn on the avionics right here. And you can see that here now. And of course, we need to uh, align the IRS, and aligning the IRS in this aircraft uh, goes automatically. We open up the FMC, go to the position initialization page, and we're gonna load the latest position. And you can see now this position is loaded, and the aircraft will do uh, everything else. Next step, we have to um, arm the emergency lights and then make sure that every lid in the overhead panel is off. So uh, this is all off, 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 off. Uh, we have here some uh, two knobs that are still illuminated. We can uh, switch them on. That's the windshield heating. And the pneumatics panel, uh, don't touch that yet. Uh, well, actually, we can do that. We can turn on the uh, air conditioning. So to do that we have to uh, get the APU bleed on, you'll see uh, open right here, and if we want to have air in the cabin we're just going to turn on the packs, and you can hear now that we have uh, air in the cabin. But I'm going to turn them off again because we need to start up the engine, so we need all the air uh, we need for uh, the engine startup. Okay, well, so we're now uh, going to start up the engines, and the engines start up on the Ember. 135 is very easy. Uh, first of all, turn on the red beacon lights so the ground uh, crew knows that you are about to start your engines. Turn on the uh, first fuel pump as well. And I'm gonna make sure that the ignition on the power plant section is on auto. Next, open those safety covers of the engine uh, startup knobs. And all you have to do is get it into the start position. So we first start the uh, second engine, the right engine. And go through the ICAS display and make sure everything is uh, starting up fine. So you see here that the N2 is rising already and at about 23% the aircraft automatically adds fuel to the engine. And there it goes. Engine number two is rising up, and as you can see, the oil temperature is rising, and the oil pressure is rising as well. Ignore the caution for the moment. We have all indications green, so that means that everything is okay. And we are gonna uh, start up the first engine. Right now. Again, move to the start position. Go to the ICAS. 
monitor the uh, values. M2 is rising again. And we're reaching 23%. And there it goes. So engine number one has started up uh, successfully as well. As you can see the aircraft all manually handles everything so the hydraulics are fine right now and the oil pressure and oil temperature for no engine number one are fine as well. Okay that's it. Uh, the engines are started up right now. We can close these covers. I'm gonna turn off the APU lead. Turn off the APU as well. There it goes. Uh, the engines can now uh, take care for the air conditioning. So we're gonna get the engine bleeds on and open the packs. And as you can hear, we have some nice air conditioning in the aircraft right now. Make sure the hydraulic electrical pumps are set to auto. Just make one more check if every lid on the panel is now off. And as you can see everything is off, so that means everything is actually on. Okay, there's one more step uh, before we can uh, go and push back the aircraft. We have to uh, give the aircraft some more information about the takeoff data. And you can see here you can see your uh, takeoff data section on the overhead panel. And on your multifunction display, just get a bit forward. This is the multifunction display. Go to system first of all. And then go to takeoff. And as you can see, that page is already uh, loaded. It shows the doors of the aircraft. And we have here some uh, engine data we have to fill. First of all, takeoff mode. And I'm just going to open up the 2D overhead panel. This makes it a little bit easier. We have the takeoff data section again. Press the store button, and as you can see, there's a little arrow showing uh, where we are. And we can select here where we want an alternate takeoff or a normal takeoff. So in this case, we really want normal takeoff. The outside air temperature, and press store again. As you can see, we can now select the outside air temperature. And today it's uh, 15 degrees Celsius. But again, Decrease and decrease the value. And the eyes, uh, you can decide when you, whether you want to turn it on or not. You either turn it on like this or off. In this case, it's not needed, there are not a lot of clouds and the temperature is okay, so we're gonna leave it off. Okay, so that's it. We're gonna press the uh, store button one more time. As you can see, this information uh, is now turning blue, that means that. We have completed this section. And guys, that's it. That's all you have to do for this uh, Embraer 135 and 145. And um, as you can see, it's relatively easy. And uh, the uh, aircraft uh, is, does the most things uh, automatically on a Boeing. Uh, for example, you still have to add fuel and uh, there are a lot of knobs uh, ready. But this aircraft. Uh, takes care of all of it, which makes it very easy for the pilots. So thank you for watching this uh, video today, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and learned from it. Uh, please take a moment to take a look at my Facebook page and uh, also at my channel, and if you would like to see more content in the future, please subscribe. So, thanks for watching again, and I hope to see you next time.